So, any guesses to who I've got in the next round of the Champions League? I'm guessing that most of you will be presuming it's going to be Barcelona, maybe. You know, if we really want to be unlucky, well, you're right. We got Barcelona! Oh, it just had to be, didn't it? The main rivals of the league this season that we're battling with to win the title. We've got them in the semi-finals of the Champions League. We're going to get right into this. We're playing away from home at first. It's going to be really tough. Although, I said it in the last episode, we seem to be doing really well in the Champions League games. I, I don't know why that's the case. I find it harder against mid-table teams in the league, for example. So who knows what's going to happen? The good news is I have a fully fit squad. Everyone is ready to go, but I'm presuming Barcelona will also have their strongest team available for this one. Let's have a look at the lineups. Dembele starts. I'm sure he's playing on the left. Paulson. Oh, wait, no. Where's Messi? No way. They've dropped Messi. What? You have to be joking me. He must be injured. There's no way you drop Messi in a semi-final of the Champions League. Dembele's on the right and they've got Abe on the left. What? What is going on here? Okay, well, I guess that's a good thing for us. Unless this Abe guy is better than Lionel Messi is. I doubt it, but you never know. Some sort of uh, regen or randomly generated player. We will see how he gets on down that left side against us. Here is Dembele on the right. See if we can get a tackle in. Oh, an interception. Oh, and the ball's gone through, but Kula Barley, he's a brick house. No way. <laughs> Awa almost scored. One of the best looking goals I would have I would have conceded. Look at this. He just lobs it. Oh man, that would have been a beautiful goal. I don't think I would have been angry, actually. I would have been disappointed, but not angry, because that would have been beautiful. Nice. Over the top for Erdegaard. He's not gonna get there. Okay. Right, this has been a bit of a frantic opening. I think we need to calm ourselves down a little bit. This is the semi-finals, you know. A win here would be, geez, absolutely massive. Away goals, you know, going into the second leg. And then we'd be pretty much one foot into the final. Here is Dominguez now. Across the... What? That did not just happen. Oh, my God. Dominguez. You punch that flag. You punch it as hard as you want, mate. That was incredible. How has that gone in? One pass through to Griezmann, then laying off to Dominguez. And he just shoots across the keeper to Stegen. How are you not saving that? That is absolutely crazy. Just don't concede straight away. Please, Matt. Don't do anything stupid. Yes, nicely done, Pereira. Up here to Griezmann. On the right side here for Oyarzabal. What do we do here? I don't really have much support. Here we go, through ball. No, that wasn't a good pass. To be fair, I, I should have been a bit more patient there, I think. I've wasted it. Dembele is in behind here. Chasing back with Valverde. I think we've just about managed to uh, stop that attack. But here they come again. That's a good ball. He looked offside, but he's not. Cross comes in. Pereira heads it out. Up against Paulson. That's quite a tough challenge. I'm glad he's managed to do that. And now we can get down this left wing with Correa. Erdegaard's in the middle. Oh my god, go on. Go on. On the inside. Oh, I tried to scoop turn and it, it, yeah. Maybe not the best idea up against an absolute unit like Koulibaly. Couple of minutes until half time here. Correa's tracking back. Up against Paulson there. Vidal finds Alwa back into Paulson. Oh no. Oh, okay. Simple save for Ruli in the end. We're just going to boot this one out and chase it. Wow, to Stegen's brave, coming all the way out. Imagine if he made a mistake there. That would have been absolutely glorious, but he's he's not. And uh, that's half time. Okay, we're winning. We've got the away goal that we desperately needed. We just need to keep a clean sheet now, and that will be huge. They've taken off Abe and brought on Cucurella. Interesting. I mean, Abe barely touched the ball. I've got no idea who that guy is. I'm going to have to check out his rating at some point. Oh! That's a foul for sure. I wish that was in the box. I wish that was in the box. Okay, right. Free kick coming in. Let's see if we can get a good delivery in from Erdegaard. Nope, it's straight at Longley there. 
Where is Lionel Messi? I want him to come on. I, I love it. I want Lionel Messi to come on down this right wing, but I've just got a feeling he's either injured or he's suspended. Why would they not select him to start? And, okay, fair enough. Let's say they rest him for the first half. Why not bring him on in the second half? Maybe they will. I don't know. Nice from Gaia there, pushing forward. Okay, here's Valverde. I'm going to finesse this. Oh, it was definitely on target. Right, let's make some changes now. I don't know what I want to do, though. That's the thing. I think um, I'm going to rest Erdegaard. Let's bring in Zaracho. I'm also going to bring in McKenny for Dominguez and Buta on for Pereira. That seems to be the usual substitutions I make. And um, it hasn't gone wrong for me, so why not do it again? Oh, no. Oh, that was almost terrible. Still no Lionel Messi. They just made another change and Arthur has come on. I, I don't know. I guess I should be thankful he's not come on yet. He's a dangerous player, of course. Oh, that was a great tackle. I was about to knock that through to Griezmann. Okay, now here they come on the break. McKenney's just been... He got lost there for a second, didn't he? He didn't even know where the ball was. Now it's over here to Pavard. Go on, Gaia. Oh, God. Very dangerous cross in. 15 minutes. Come on. Let's get another goal. McKenney over the top. Oh, into Griezmann. Go on, Griezmann. Oh, oh my God. That was so close. Now Pavard is going off and they're bringing on not Lionel Messi. It's official. No Lionel Messi. Interesting. Okay. Oyarzabal with the cross. Valverde's there. It's going to come back out to Oyarzabal. He gets another chance to cross it in. The keeper comes out for it. Hang on. Chance is still here. Zaracho tried to finesse one. Oh, Correa. Finish it. Oh, Longley blocks it. Jeez. It should be 2-0. Oh, it still could be. Oh, Zaracho again. Nope, never mind. That was way off. Okay, we've got about eight minutes to go now. Last minutes here. Surely not. Surely not. Oh. Oh, my God, Griezmann. That would have been absolutely huge. A one goal adva advantage is good, but it's not two, is it? It's not three. It's not quite as much as I would like, but we could still score. It's a rat show. Go on. <laughs> no, no chance. That is going to be it, though, guys. They are going to take this goal kick and the referee will blow his whistle. We've got one up on Barcelona again. We'll be going into the home leg with an away goal. That's absolutely huge. Just going to smack this up the pitch. Oh, I don't need to. There you go. Three minutes was played in the end. Okay, let's go and find out what's happened to Messi. I I'm guessing he's injured. And also, let's have a look at Abe. How good is this kid? Right, well, Messi is 90 rated. He's got a massive release clause, which is almost quadruple his value. <laughs> and uh, he's match fit. So I've got no idea what's happened there. By the way, 70 acceleration and 70 sprint speed now. That's crazy. But of course... His technical stats are still probably the best in the game. So still a very dangerous player, of course. And then we've got Hiroki Abe. I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong then. I didn't think it was a Japanese name, but it is. And he must be good if he's playing for Barcelona. Uh, doesn't doesn't say, you know, what rating he is. But uh, we could jump into edit player. You've got to be kidding me. 75 rated. You're putting him in ahead of Lionel Messi in a Champions League semi-final. Okay, yeah, yeah. To totally makes sense. How ridiculous is that? Next up, we have Espanyol. We are still top of the league with a game in hand. We're going to use the second team because, of course, we have a another big game coming up against Barcelona. Let's see what result we get. A f what? 5-0. Okay. Um, that's impressive. Llorente with an injury, though. Hopefully, nothing too serious. What's it going to be? Seven days. That's for... Oh, wait, no, there's another one. Seven days. Two one-week injuries. I didn't see who the other one was for. Who got the other week injury? Oh, I couldn't see it. Lenormand. He's right next to Llorente, Matt, you blind bat. Okay, well, both defenders are out, but thankfully, they're not in the first team, which is the team we're going to use for the second leg against Barcelona. And here we go. We've got a big, big, big 90 minutes to come. Is Lionel Messi going to start? I mean, surely he will. He will be captain, though. So let's keep going here. We've got Zakaria starting. We've got Firpo, I think that is. Longley is there. Koulibaly is there. What an absolute beast. Such a good player. Pavard as well. Here we go. 
to Stegen and Lionel Messi. All right. Really, I waited that entire moment and then it cut him off at the end. I saw his beard and his haircut. Lionel Messi does start in the second leg. What were they thinking? I don't know, man, but we are 1-0 up on aggregate. We have a big advantage, but just one goal from Barcelona would reset all of that hard work in the first leg. Here we go. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if I scored that with the Yazabal? That would have been the dream start. I'm going to keep shifting the ball onto the right side here to avoid any counterattacks that goes to uh, to Messi. Although, to be fair, Dembele is equally difficult to mark and tackle in this game. So I guess I shouldn't worry too much. That's going to be a yellow card. No. Okay, play on. Here is Dominguez. Inside to Erdegaard. Long lay steps in. Oh, no. Here comes the counterattack. All of my players are forward. Oh, no. This could be bad. Paulson. Up against Pau Torres. He plays it back. He's onside. Are you kidding me? No. No. Get it out. Yes, Ruben Diaz. It's not a good header though. Come on. Yes, Dominguez. Right now it's our turn. Push forward. Just go. Oh, Yazabal's offside. Is he not? What? He's on. No. He's offside. There's no way he was on. I'm, I'm sure he was offside. I'm so glad he's not. Wow, what a counter-attack, guys. That is what we needed. We defended really quite badly, but we managed to get it out, hit them on the break, and score. But was it offside? Obviously, it's not because they would have given it, but it was tight. Very, very close. In fact, I'm going to jump into instant replay and take a look here. So, it's played there. Oh, my God. Um, let's go over to Oyarzabal here. How close was this? He's miles on. Although, I think if they used VAR, his foot, I think, is just beyond. They would have put his toenail offside here. But that is how close it was, guys. Oh, my God, we got lucky. Not much has really changed for Barcelona. They were always going to need a couple of goals, I think. You know, sure, one goal would have taken it to extra time. But two goals was always going to be their target. And that is still all they need to win this tie on away goals. But we will try and get that third. Here's Griezmann. Oh, my God. Did you see that? Koulibaly just instantly jumps in and takes it. Impossible to get around him. I don't think I should try turning him. I should just play it in behind. He's not the quickest. So uh, maybe that's what we should be doing. Ah, oh, no. De Jong's in space here. The cross comes in. What? What? Sorry, I need to see this again. He just... Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Okay, we are now one goal away from losing this. Jeez, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Right before half time as well. Perfect timing. Do you know what? I'm just going to push. Let's just go for it. Into Griezmann. Oh, okay. The first touch wasn't great, but he's made it. Well, Yazabal's made a run. Go on. Oh. Oh. He's off. Oh, he's missed it anyway. Oh, my God, cut. No, la, 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 cut that. We do not want to ever see that again. Why would you use your right foot? Thank God it was offside. I don't have to be that angry. Right, okay. <laughs> There's half time. We're still 45 minutes away from getting into the final, but we're also one goal away. If we concede one goal, it's game over. I'm going to get to the 60th minute or so, see how we're getting on, and then maybe make some defensive changes. Right now, it is all Barcelona. They're having all the possession. They're looking quite dangerous. Here's Paulson up against Diaz. Oh, no. Please. Please, Matt. Oh, my God. I'm making a change now. I'm not enjoying this in the slightest. I'm going to do what I usually do. Bring uh, Erdegaard's position down like this and then swap him out for McKenney. Erdegaard is a great player, but I'd rather have McKenney at this point. Now, normally I'd bring on Buta as well, and I think I'm going to I'm gonna do that right now. Up against Dembele, that could be a lifesaver. And uh, maybe I go Isaac up top. Do I do that? Do you know what? I'm going to do it. Hold up play, you know? And maybe if we get a free kick, a corner, it'll be good to have someone really tall in the box. And to be fair, it's good when we defend corners, even though Valverde's done his job there. Oh, go on. That's yours. Oh, we almost won it. Oh, no. 
Don't mess this up, Matt. Yes, Isaac. He's got it. Make a run, make a run. Here we go. And now cross it in for Isaac. The big six foot four Swede. Nope, it's gone to Oyarzabal. That's not what I wanted. Okay, it's all good. If I've got the ball, they can't score. Simple as that, right? And I'm definitely still going for it. They've brought on Arwa and taken off Zakaria. So they are going more attacking, which they should do. Here is Valverde. Nice. Really? Terrible cross. Oh, no. No. <laughs> you guys know how I'm feeling right now. Something's about to happen. And I am not, not interested in conceding right now. I can tell you that. Here is Firpo. Just chase them down. Oh, no. Come on, Gaia. You're out of position, my dude. Please, please, please. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, Lionel Messi. Okay, luckily he's a short ass. Okay. Beautiful pass. This time it's going to go onto Isaac's head. Go on. What are you doing, game? Why? Why would I want to volley that? Oh, that is infuriating. There's still 10 minutes to go. Please win that header. Yes, Pau Torres. Give it back to him. All right. Let's go down this left side a little bit. We'll pass that to Correa. Oh, okay. Nope. Give that. <laughs> We're about to lose it. Here is McKenney. Back inside to Correa. To Isaac. Oh, my God. Pavard. That was well done. Five minutes. Come on. We're so close. We can do this. Come on. Mark Messi up. Oh, no. They're going left instead. No. No. Please. Be kind to me. Yes. Buta. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> How have I not done that yet? Here we go. Back flick. Yes. Now here goes Buta with the 99 pace. Just run forward. And Isaac's not making a run. So I'm just going to keep going here. I don't want to shoot with his left foot. We'll give that to Correa. Buta has stayed forward. Play it back. Oh, this is beautiful. We've got the ball. Oh, no. Play on. Oh, it's done. <laughs> We're in the final. I'm so sorry, Barcelona. We are ruining your season. Not only have we taken over the top spot in the league, we've now knocked them out of the best European competition. Unlucky. We're into the final. But who will we play against? I have a feeling it's going to be Atletico Madrid. I really do. And that would be... A very, very fitting end to this series. Imagine winning it. And we've still got the league to go as well, of course. Just looking at these stats, what a boring game. I was not adventurous enough, clearly. Two shots, two on target. They did a little bit better, but we actually had more possession. In the second half when it began, they were all over us. But then I managed to get some control. And towards the end there, it was actually in their half most of the time. So... I'm really happy. That is a great performance and a great result. And would you look at that? Another 12 million euros in the bank account. Love to see that. How much money do we actually have now? 23 million. We had nothing at one point. So we've, we've made quite a decent amount of money there with the, uh, the deals we did on deadline day or the deal we did at least. So um, that's it. We're into the final. We've now got a couple of league games. Next is Ibar. Whereabouts are they at the moment? They're in eighth place. They're not doing too bad. We're at the top. We've got two games to play and we're one point behind Real Madrid. We've got uh, extra game on Atletico Madrid as well and they're two points behind. And we've played the same amount as Barcelona and we're three points above them. So yeah, Barcelona are really, really going to be under the pressure now because if they don't win the league, this season has been a massive failure for them. It looks like both Atletico Madrid, well, maybe not them, but Real Madrid for sure are going to finish higher than... Wait, no, no, because they've got games in hand. They can still rescue it. Barcelona can still finish quite strong here, but we've got four games to go. If we win three, we will be the champions in Spain. Oh my God. Don't forget, by the way, we have Real Madrid as our final fixture of the season. Oh my God. A 3-0 win. Nothing happened in this game. There was a yellow card and that was it. Three goals and a yellow card. No substitutions, no injuries, nothing. That's crazy. But this Real Madrid game at the end of the season could be a title, de a title decider, potentially. I mean, I think it's unlikely, especially now that we've got another win. But imagine that. Imagine needing to win against Madrid to win the title. That would be crazy.
Time now to play against Sevilla at home in the rain. With a few changes to the team, Zerkzy is going to be starting up front. Isaac was exhausted. Griezmann is on the bench. So it made sense to go with him. My God, he looks absolutely massive in this lineup. Who was that st standing next to him? Who is the shortest player? It could be Erdegaard, I'm guessing, or maybe Oyarzabal. No, it'll be... Oh, wow, Correa. It was definitely Correa. He made Xerxes look like a six foot eight god. But anyway, will he get on the score sheet today? I don't know. We've got Dahoud starting as well. So it's not the entire first team, but most of the first team do start this game. And a win here could be maybe enough if other teams drop points. Atletico Madrid are taking on Barcelona right now and they're losing. Barcelona have started strongly. We're going to have to keep an eye out for that one. I didn't realise they were playing each other. That's huge for us. If they both draw, oh, that'd be crazy. And here's Odegaard. Oh, he almost got through there. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Well, this isn't going to plan. We've just conceded a really messy goal. Don't really want to see that again, but let's see what's happened. It's a poor clearance from Gaia. And then we've got three blue shirts around one red shirt, and he still finds the back of the net. These damn replays are too damn slow. Oh, it's taken a deflection. The keeper might have saved it otherwise. Maybe. Oliver Torres. I forgot about him. He's a decent player, you know. Go on over the top. There you go. Surely this time. Surely Oyarzabal's going to score this one. Yeah. There we go. Right. We're back in the game. Just get the ball. Let's go. Let's get a second goal. Let's put this one to bed early. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Yes. And there it is. It is 2-1 and it's Oyarzabal again. The captain steps up when we need him most. And it's 2-1 right before the break. Lovely. Oh, see you later. Brilliant from Erdegaard. No, Diego Carlos though. Steps in at the right time, right at the death there. We were scoring that for sure. And Oyarzabal wins it back, but unfortunately it comes off him. Oh, it's a nice boy into Xerxes here. Go on. A um, <laughs> little bit of a hopeful hit. Looks like Atletico Madrid are beating Barcelona 3-1. Oh my god, Barcelona are throwing their season away. Unbelievable. That is crazy. What a game by Atletico Madrid to beat Barcelona 3-1. They're still going. There could be more. Oh no, there could be more here as well. No. No. Oh my god, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. Go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I can't, I can't, I can't draw. No, come on. Just because other results might be going my way doesn't mean I can't not win mine, okay? Oh, go on, Xerxes. Oh, it's fine. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, <laughs> no, no, it's not over. It's not over yet. Okay, right. I'm going to make some changes. I'm going to go for another goal, though. Erdegaard's going to come off for Zaracho. Griezmann's going to come on, and so is Dominguez. Three very good players to come on. Let's see if we can get one more here. Oh, Dominguez. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. He's done it again. That finish was terrible. Somehow the keepers missed it, though. Oh, okay. Right. It's done. We've got our win. Let's just hope that maybe Barcelona can score two and get a draw against Atletico Madrid. That would actually be ideal. Let's have a look at this again. Dominguez just runs through, almost got tackled, and <laughs> the keeper. Oh, my God. Just sack him. Just terminate his contract because that is embarrassing. We've got 10 minutes to go now. Come on, let's get a fifth. We want five. We want five. It might be our last chance. Here we go. Here is Dominguez. Inside to Zaracho. Somehow he's found the space. Come on. Onto the left side here for Iazabal. Into the box. Go on. Oh, still got a chance maybe? No, that's going to be it. Okay, we got the win. Let's take a look at the league table. It did finish 3-1. Fair play. Atletico Madrid have done really well there. And uh, that does mean we're five points clear. Guys, we're one win away from winning it. That's it. We'll be done. I can't believe that. What an end to the season. We can actually reach 100 points, unlike another team in England. Wow. That is absolutely incredible. Let's have a look at the actual table itself. We're going to be finishing this season potentially with just three losses if we can win our next two games. But this does mean our next game, which is Granada, who are down in 18th, a win there 
Or even a draw, potentially. I mean, I guess our goal difference is very good. Unless it goes down to um, head-to-head. -head. I can't quite remember sometimes what leagues what use what uh, rules. But either way, Granada. A win against them, and we've done it. Unbelievable. I can't remember if it's a... Oh, no. No. <laughs> if we do a season four, Chelsea will be taking Pau Torres. I don't think we will need to. We're going to win. It's a uh, away game. We'll, of course, be playing it in the next episode, along with the game against Real Madrid, which might mean nothing now. And uh, then it's the uh, Champions League final against a team that I'm not going to mention. I know who it is, and I'm not looking forward to, uh, to playing it. But um, that's it. That is it. We've got one more episode to go. Influential performance, Ricardo Pereira. Very well done. Okay, right. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We've got one episode left to go. It will be the finale of this series. Can we overperform? Uh, Outperform is the word I'm looking for. The other Spanish teams. I think we've already done it this season. It's just actually putting the cherry on top. You know, can we do it? You, will go, you guys will find out in the next episode. Uh, tonight, I'll be streaming some more F1. So if you've just finished this video and it's around 8 p.m., 9 p.m. UK time on the 16th of July, then please do check out my Twitch. I'll be playing some F1, doing some more my team. But uh, I will see you tomorrow for the finale of the series.